Sarah rushed her daughter to the hospital after she suspected that her husband molested her child. He was later arrested and is now facing two charges of criminal sexual abuse of a child. Sarah filed for divorce and eventually reconnected with her ex, AJ, who she always believed could be the father of her daughter. AJ hopes the child is his, but he wants Sarah to take a lie detector test to prove that she was not involved with the abuse of her daughter. Everything seemed fine. Everything was normal. It was a normal day. And I went to bed that night. We came home tired. We went to bed. And I woke up around, I'd say, 1 AM. And my husband wasn't in bed with me. And I went to find my husband. And I found him laying in bed with my daughter in nothing but his underwear. And I told him to come back to bed. I felt something was off. And I noticed something was wrong. And I went back in my daughter's room and noticed her PJs were changed. And I asked him why. And he said that she had spilled coffee on herself. Not only was she only three years old at the time, but it was also 1 o'clock in the morning. And I grabbed my daughter. And or before I grabbed my daughter, I grabbed her PJs and I went to put them in the dirty clothes and I noticed there was a white residue on the inside of her PJs. And I knew what it was. I had a feeling. And I grabbed my daughter and I ran downstairs. I took my daughter to the hospital that night and he demanded that he went with me. And I told the hospital staff what I suspected. I said, I believe my daughter was molested. I believe that this man that is here with me right now is the one that committed this crime. I don't want him back in the room. They took her in, and they did a rape kit on my three-year-old daughter. And my daughter, I remember her face. I remember how she felt. I remember holding her. They took him to jail, and I just, it's been a nightmare. It's been, I've tried to be there through, for her, through everything, through therapy, and it's just, I don't know, we still live with it to this day, trying to deal with everything. I mean, it's been almost two years. Um. So he gets locked up, and he's, he's in, I, I'm guessing, some kind of county jail right now? Yes. And he believed that he's the biological father to the little girl? So do you believe that there's a really good chance that AJ's the father? I think he is. I mean, you, and just, you want him to be, right? I want more than anything, anybody besides my ex. Right, anybody besides the guy in jail. OK, all right, anything scaring you? I'm terrified that my ex is going to end up her father. And not only is it hard enough for a child to go through that, but to be, go through that by their own parent. Okay. Well, let's meet AJ. Steve, I want to say something, man. You're actually my idol, man. And it's actually nice to meet you. Thank you. Um, you know, from the story she tells, she's obviously been through quite a bit. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine, you know, hurting a child, this child being, you know, your own, and uh, going through all that, uh, especially such a small child, such a horrific crime. But you somehow come back in her life. You were involved with her before she was ever pregnant. Um, but she says it was very casual, uh, not, not serious. She was kind of wild herself. Uh, you got in a little bit of trouble. You end up going away. When you, now that you're back in her life, and you've obviously, she says you're wonderful to the little girl, you're spending time with her. When you look at the little girl, do you see yourself in her? I see myself. Rambunctious, a handful, 
Pretty much just put an image of me. And you're hoping the little girl's uh, yours? I am seriously hoping she is, because no child deserves a monster like that, man. That's, I mean, that's true. Um, but you want her to take a lie detector test, and she's here to take it. it what was your motivation behind that? Because everybody, they, I've been hearing her accusing her of having something to do with it. Like I told her, I highly doubt she had anything to do with it. So she's here and she took one. What happens if she, she would fail? We'll figure out a way to work through it, man. Do you mind if I sit down Shh, too? Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing you, I would say, look at this. She discovered something and she took action as a mother. And even if AJ is not the father, not the father, the good thing is you probably won't have to deal a lot with your ex. Um, and, and the other fact is you were married to this guy and you didn't protect him. You, you did the right thing. <laughs> you know, with paternity, you never really, I mean, at least I don't. I don't try to root for anybody the child's father, whoever, but in your case, I certainly hope that uh, AJ turns out to be the father. And either way, I hope it works out for her. I told her, even if she ain't, I'm still going to be there because she needs somebody that's going to stand up and protect that little girl. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help. And we asked her, did you fabricate the story that your ex molested your daughter? You answered no. Did you coach your daughter to say that your ex molested her? You answered no. Did you ever allow your ex to have sexual activity with your daughter? You answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Sierra told the truth. You knew that, but it's a little... Yeah, I knew from the get-go she didn't have nothing to do with it. It was the fact is we just wanted to clear her name through everybody's accusing her. Well, and people back home, when they yeah. think that maybe you falsely accused, they can see the show. And, <laughs> and I, I'm going to tell them, look up the Steve Wilco show. <laughs> Never a bad thing. <laughs> All right, AJ, this is probably the real... This is going to be the CD deal. This is the big thing of the show here is whether you are the biological father. And I'm sure everyone here is hoping for you. Well, you did take a DNA test. And this has got to be... It's a little nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking. Um, you took the DNA test, AJ, and the results for that DNA test is that... You are the father. Don't tell me to get that room changed. I love you. Um, I, I have to know, how is the reaction discovering right now that you're a father of a little girl? Amazing. Because I've wondered since I first got told. I'm actually kind of shaken, bud. I want to cry. I want to be happy. I just want all to go good, man. Um, this, this is a wonderful outcome. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, listen, obviously something really bad happened to this little girl. And that, uh, finding out this is your daughter, that part's got to be very tough. That's the hard part. That's, that's I can why imagine I that's cry. hard. No, I wasn't able to be there to protect her, man. But the good thing is, you're in her life now, you're in a relationship with his mo her mother, you can protect her from now on. I hope, uh, listen, I can't imagine the feelings that are running through you to discover that you're her father. What a wonderful feeling for you. It's awesome. I hope you go back and cherish every day that you have with her. I'm going to cherish it, man. 
You don't even understand what's going through my head right now, man. I, 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 I can't imagine, but I know it's it's probably overwhelming for It you. is. It's overwhelming. It's like to the point, I'm not going to lie, it's like, I need a cigarette now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get you out there and give you what you need and uh, wish you all the best of luck. Thanks, Thanks for coming on. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action.